Think of biology and you don't first think of algorithms and mathematical solutions. But at the Centre for Applied Mathematics in Bioscience and Medicine, or CAMBAM, biology and mathematics come together to solve real-world problems. We all have this common background in mathematics, but the diversity in terms of specialization in different areas of biology is really astonishing. The second thing that makes CAMBAM unique is the fact that we are truly interdisciplinary. So we train our students in an interdisciplinary way and we start at the undergraduate level with joint degrees between biological sciences and physics or biological sciences and mathematics that extends right through graduate education and into the postdoctoral training area. Its researchers covers every scale of life from the submolecular molecular through the organ whole system all the way up to the ecological level. And I think that has very powerful possibilities with regards to it being a one-stop shop, be it in the pharma world, be it in the biotech world, in the clinical professions. Built into the center are mechanisms to maximize the leverage that we can use um, on a partner's funding. So we're able to maximize the kind of impact the kind of deliverables that are brought to a partner who's working with Kanban. Based primarily at McGill University in Montreal, Kanban's researchers and students are at the forefront of advances in medical science. One of the most significant areas of work is brain mapping, where the importance of mathematics to a neurological problem is clear. For the first time, we can look inside, non-invasively, the living human brain. Not just one brain, but thousands of brains. And this allows us to look at the subtle workings of the human brain in a way that was inconceivable even 10 years ago. To do this, we require massive computation and sophisticated algorithms to extract quantitative information about brain development and brain degeneration. Elsewhere, Professor Leon Glass and his team have been doing groundbreaking work on using mathematical models to detect cardiac arrhythmias. The essence of our work is essentially interdisciplinary. Uh, we collaborate with experimental physiologists, we collaborate with physicians, and we also collaborate with, with mathematicians. So the real challenge is bringing together all of these diverse sources of information and all of these diverse sources of intelligence to solve are common problems of practical interest. The ability of Kanban students to apply their mathematical expertise to all kinds of problems is a huge asset to medical researchers like Anne-Marie Lausanne, who studies the biophysical properties of muscles in the airways of asthmatics. We are part of the Department of Medicine and the students that we recruit usually are physiology or biology students. And because of the volume of data that we get, we need to go uh, one step further in the analysis. And students from CAMBAM have um, the uh, perfect training to help us in this analysis. So the combination is uh, really perfect to help us um, hopefully uh, uh, one day solve the problem of asthma. Kanban's work goes from the molecular level to the organism through to wider issues like our environment and biodiversity. Being able to formalize mathematical models of environmental issues like biodiversity ecosystem functioning, but there are many others, is also critical to help devising appropriate policies. We can see that with climate change very clearly, and I'm trying to do the same thing for biodiversity build some new models that can inform policy makers and that could lead to new ways of dealing with the biodiversity crisis. With such specialised research going on, you would expect the students' skill sets to be equally specialised. But as former student Catherine Foley's move into the financial industry shows, quite the opposite is true. Even though it's a really different field, my transition went really smoothly because I was really well prepared. You have a great training, you, you work with interdisciplinary team, which I'm doing also at work. You have a solid mathematical background. So basically, the application is different, but the toolbox is, is the same. So when the young undergraduate asks the question, why mathematics, the answer is clear. Why not mathematics? Mathematics is the lingua franca of science. The mathematics tools are portable, they're applicable through all areas of science. The reason I started CAMBAM in the first place was that I saw this huge collection of 
really talented applied mathematicians in Montreal, all working on problems in biology. And I had the feeling that if we banded together, that the sum would be much greater than the sum of the parts.